Hello all. Uh, again, Stefan Laub from the Cucumber team. Uh, I show you here and again uh, a new plugin GeoTexture. Uh, this time with uh, the Octane render, just to prove that it renders in any uh, render engine. In this scene, I show you um, basically uh, the procedure of mapping several objects onto a surface and control the placement by texture. It could be fields or texture, actually. I'm here on Cinema 4D 19, so in that case, I use uh, a simple texture input. So in the cloning, I choose here from random to shader, and I put in just the bitmap here as the distribution index. So it's a grayscale bitmap, and I have here one, two, three, four, five different clones from flat to some three-dimensional structure. We will map that here to make like a, a kind of pop art or something effect uh, wall. This here is again just a simple surface. In that case, it's not a loft. It's just a, a hypernerbs deformed and we link that again, the subdivision surface inside uh, GeoTexture. So you can use also subdivision surfaces directly inside. It's not needed to be a polygon. And uh, as a child, we have these five groups that again are uh, subdivision surfaces in that case. So will be quite some geometry. Multi-threading I have on on my PC, I fix clone on, this just tells that it really uh, takes the geometry coordinate from each of these pieces regardless where they are in space. So it makes it a bit easier. And just let's turn that on. And it maps it on. We don't see it because it's so detailed, but you can guess it here and... Uh, Let's see the live render window from Octane. It creates the geometry. And here it is. So again, as expected, Octane is very fast, of course. You can live view it. Uh, I just made a very, very simple uh, light here. What you see here now, we have the black paint and stuff. I get this kind of object, and where it's white, I get the, the object that is uh, very simple here. And then I have a special object actually here. I haven't shown you that. That's called border cube, because I want the borders have a special object here on the borders. So I used one feature that uh, Tile Pro has. It's called border detection. So I can uh, tell detect border and the size of the border, and then it takes the very first object on this border, and I could even put special objects on the corner. Uh, that's sometimes very, very useful for many effects where you very, very, know, kind of fade out the stuff, for example. Yeah, And I could now animate, for example, my input here, or I can uh, add more source object to make this transition even smoother or something. But I kind of like the effect. It's very funny, very easy, and uh, you can make cool stuff with that. And as I said, it works very, very nice in any engine. Of course, also the great Octane plugin. That was it for now. I hope you liked the video, and we will come with more. Uh, we wish you a nice evening. Thanks.